I know it's been a long time. 2021 means more consistency with videos from me to you, but just know I'm excited. We finally reached the end of season one and I just going through season two and three is just going to be so much fun with this show. I can already tell. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don Machi, episode 13. Let me write that down. The finale titled um, Fam Familia Myth, the story of a familia. So I'm guessing we're going to get some crazy shit. I know we ended off last episode with what seemed like a happy moment. We finally won the battle, then some shit was going down. There was another earthquake that they've been having throughout the last few episodes. But then, like, this huge like skeleton beast thing popped up and then disappeared i have no idea what's going on i won't lie to you but just know guys with the first and last episode of every season of every show i watch the full length which is normally available on patreon as a tier is available to everyone full uncut episode in the corner for you guys so check that out top of the description if you guys like that and want to consider keeping that way you know you can always check out that patreon it's always available if you guys want to support and patreon is not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment for the youtube algorithm it means so much thank you so much i'm so excited to get in the show don't forget to follow me on all my socials at dapper darius instagram twitter and twitch appreciate you guys let's hop into this don machi the finale of season one episode 13. The dungeon hates us. What happened to the prayers? Uranus. The dungeon hates them. Does the dungeon itself have its own relationship with the gods and goddesses? Oh, that thing is huge. Is that another? Go oh, is that the Goliath from 7, 8, 18 or 17? The Goliath from 17 due to the earthquake broke down here? Is that what it was? How? Jesus. It's not looking good for Moldo. Let me guess. He's about to get saved by Bell. It's going to be very poetic. Damn, we got Minotaurs too? Ushiwakamaru is perfect for cutting up mini tar. I said mini tars, minotars. Good shit, Lily Ruka. <laughs> You're getting in Bell's way. <laughs> oh my God, go Ryu. Wait, wait, wait. As in, like, because we're still level two? Hell yeah. That's what you call teamwork right there. And I was going to say, this should be so easy for eyes and everyone else a part of Loki's Familia, but I forgot. They already left. They were, the, they were part of the first squad to leave. So take care, take care. They're out of there. All the mage users building up their incantation. All oh, ones like explosive. We have like holy ones in there. We have ice. It's really lightning. We have five different magic users popping off right now. There's no way it regenerates. There's no way it goes back to full health. I hate video games when you're fucking playing and they use a hyper potion out of nowhere for their strongest Pokemon, you know? It's like Nomu. What? Imagine how sad eyes would be if she came back to just discover a Goliath fell from 17 and just fucking killed everyone, including Belle. Is she, that'd be awful. Oh my god, look at this thing, bro. Like, Breath of the Wild when the Blood Moon comes up and all the monsters just respawn. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you gotta help with these monsters nearby. These are way too much. All these minotaurs, hell fucking hounds. Oh, an Argonaut would be beautiful right now. That's what fell off Welf. That's what Hephaestus gave to Welf. That might come in clutch. It's just shooting howls left, right, and center.
No way Uka goes out. I get why he feels like that, especially because he was the one who ordered the pass parade. No way we go out like this, though. My boy Bell is going to come in clutch with the Argonaut. Come on, bro. Oh my god, that looked so cool, but it really did not look like it killed him. Oh my god, it blasted its motherfucking head off. Yeah, we have to use whatever wealth has in that thing. That's so insane. We blasted his head off. Uka is so clutch. Jesus. We need Reveria and her healing. We just need to... Oh my. This is fucking crazy. He's like projected outside of his body. Overcome this. You have to. Come on. Oh my god. It's Kamisama. Come on. Kamisama. I like this. It's always showing Gramps too, man. I want to know so much more about him. And this is the second time Hermes has said something quoting his grandpa. There has to be something about that. There has to be. It's going to make you the coolest hero, bro. Come on. This is so cool. She gave him what was Welf's in Welf's thing? What the fuck is that? What in the flying fuck is that? Scream out your wishes, Arconaut. Gotta make sure I'm still recording before this happens. She's buying as much time as she can. Ryu is so fucking nasty. She's using an incantation while buying time while going that fast. What is going on? This is so sick. Okay, Asfi, what the fuck? Are those like Hermes' boots? It's Hermes' boots, the ones that allow you to fly, right? In Greek mythology? Who is it? That's so fucking cool. Bear within thee to light the stardust to destroy my enemy. Oh my god, that is so fucking cool. War God Strike. Ooh, it's so... I don't even know how to pronounce that. That is like a holy fucking... Fuck, I don't even know, bro. This is so cool. Oh my god. A gravity barrier. At the end... That's what was in his thing. That's his magic thing? Fire Moon? So then what does Bell have? So what is he holding? What the fuck is this? That's not the Hestia knife, is it? With that one little attack. Argo not. Bro. The hero strike. That is so cool. <laughs> if anyone had any doubts about my boy Bell, there <laughs> it's certainly been dispelled. That's the magic stone. Let's fucking get it right now. Fucking get down there. Get down there. Yep, so it wasn't the Hestia. So what was it, man? I'm so curious. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know how much XP we're going to gain from this? Oh my god. <laughs> Bro. That was literally everything I wanted in this fight and more. And more. Or we better get, like, I don't want to say worldwide recognition, but... Oh, my boy Uka is, out, is alive, too. And 
Still fuck you, Moldo, but come on. Your grandson, Zeus? He's not up for it? He's the last hero of your familia? There's no way. Oh. The story told by our beloved children, Familia, the Familia myth. <laughs> what? Oh, I have to watch this. The, the outro to this. Ina's so happy we, we're alive. What's Freya thinking? Oh my God. Otaro still behind her. Back at the beloved mistress. Is that what this place is called, right? Having dreams. All telling stories about Belle. <laughs> oh my god, man. This was the best ending I could have asked for. Easily. Now I can see everyone. I could literally I could probably name 90% of the characters we see on screen right here. Which I love that. So this this show has such cool characters. So many questions answered, so many questions now that I have after that. Perfect wrap up to the season one though. The biggest thing, I have to talk about it first. I knew there was some sort of connection, obviously. They keep showing his grandpa, he's such a cool dude. He's like that pervy grandpa that everyone fucking loves. He's like Jiraiya, you know? But it's funny that Hermes said he was sent here to watch over Bell by someone. We never found out who that someone was. And then he kept saying quotes that Bell would recognize from his grandfather. And I was like, why? I was actually low key thinking, I was like, is fucking his grandfather reincarnated into Hermes? But especially because they were both pervy, all that, but it might just be Hermes is just cool with Zeus. Like they're just like homies, you know? Which he's like, bro, you don't think he's up for it? You gotta come see your grandson down here. He's straight killing the game. If only, if only he knew, bro. If only Zeus could come down and see not only him killing the uh, all the monsters, killing all the women, he's fucking slaying them. Like, Jesus, bro. Oh my, his grandfather is Zeus. Of all the gods, that is so cool. I was not expecting that. I didn't see that at all. Oh God, that's so cool. But that fight was amazing seeing so much magic use with the incantations and i love how not i mean they're op but you have to build them up for a long time especially if you're a skilled mage user which makes me think ryu is disgustingly op first off she ended an entire familia by her lonesome so she i should have taken context that she's nasty she's doing an incantation while slashing the fuck out of it and then the incantation on top of that was so strong she's disgust like she's just so oh I, I like her so much more with her backstory and everything she's so dope but that mixed with um what was her name did i write it down no, I didn't, sadly. I need I need to write it down. But uh, we have Uka, Chigusa, and the third. Komoto, Mikoto, something like that. The one who did the gravity barrier. That was so cool as well. And then fucking Asfi with, I swear, it's Hermes' sandals, Hermes' boots that allow you to fly. Like, in, that's what makes him go so fast. Am I wrong on that? I could totally be an idiot on that. Um... But I just think that's so cool that she has that. She was also using her items. I love how everyone was working together. Moldo even said, hey man, not bad little rookie. The little rookie thing is, is actually starting to grow on me. It sounds cool, you know? Um, oh, he was talking about Uranus too. He said Uranus with prayers. Cause he didn't mention anything. Like Hermes was genuinely concerned about, see, I think so many goddesses are fucking shit up. Cause Zeus wants Hermes to check up on uh, Belle, obviously. But then Freya is like, okay, Hermes, you can play with him, but he's my thing, remember that? So I don't know if Freya is the one who sent this. Cause we saw her at the end there, but she didn't give us any inclination as okay, things went to plan. Okay, things didn't go to plan, but I'm still liking it. Okay, like I had no idea and what happened with what was in accordance with what her plan was. I have no idea, you know? I just think, I just think everything happened to work out very beautifully and I loved it and ooh, 
uh, I still, if you guys can, if it's not a spoiler, because it was Lily Ruka who gave uh, Bell this sword, this little two handed thing, and said, you know, limit off. Because, I mean, it makes sense to give him anything. He could just use Argonaut to power up anything to make it fucking amazing. But I do like how he actually stabbed and broke the stone with the Hestia knife. We're probably going to get so much XP off that. I just want to know, what was that thing? I thought it was the thing Welf had, but Welf had his magic item and he used it to save his friends, which, you know, it's like, I don't weigh it, you know, weigh your pride against save. I get it, you know, and he, he made the right call. And I love how he's under Hephaestus. I love Hephaestus so much, too, with her fucking big ass titties, but her awesomeness, you know, like, ah can't go wrong like those that's like the best combination in my opinion big ass titties and awesomeness so many characters have that in this show <laughs> you know that's why it's a fucking 10 out of 10 for me but uh with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode i'm gonna hop out of here into the next season peace out dapper squad have a great day have a happy holidays all that peace out you guys